this video, I want to show you how you can make sure that your calculations are only calculated when only one value is selected using the selected value and the has one value functions. I want to show you how you can use both with some examples. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's have a look at this example that I prepared for you today. So I created it from scratch and it just has one table, the sales table. And if we look at it here, it's just a, a table with two columns, a country and sales. And I've visualized that here in our report so you can see. And I've just added a couple of things here for us to use. Um, we have the country as a filter and also the sales card here using the uh, card visual that just sums up the sales from our table. So I've added this filter visual here so that we can get the sales based on the country that you select here. So let's say if I uh, select UK, you will just see on the table here the UK sales and also on the card you will get the sum of all the sales for the UK and with this filter slicer you can select multiple values um, and it will give you the sum of uh, the countries that you select so it will give you the um, UK and Ireland sales up here on the card so let's have a look at this card and let's say we want to show the sum of sales if only one country is selected in our slicer. So maybe in the business sense, it's incorrect to sum multiple uh, countries sales together. And what we want to make sure in the calculations is to make sure that we signify that when the user selects multiple countries from the slicer, that it's an invalid selection, either showing it's not applicable and only showing sales, total sales, if only one country is selected. So how do we do that? So for this, we can use a function called selected value. So let's have a look at what it says on the docs here. So the description says it returns the value when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only, otherwise returns an alternative result. So immediately you can see here that it asks for two parameters. You need to give it a column name. So the alternate results value would be returned if, for example, the column that you gave uh, either has multiple values or has no values at all. Let's give this function a try in our Power BI uh, report here. So let's create a new measure. And we'll create this one um, sales. And for this one, we'll type selected value right here. So we know that we want to make sure that only one country is selected from the country column. And then the alternate result, uh, let's say we want to show not applicable. If there is no um, country or there are multiple countries selected. So if we hit enter, okay, so we can just name this one selected value I'll just put the SV there and I'll create a card for it so we can compare it against the uh, our normal card here just put the sales SV there so you can see that uh, now because we have multiple countries selected it shows the alternate results NA but now if we select just one it will give us the value of that column so you'll see here we have the France and the UK. Now it's not exactly what we need uh, because we need the sales for those countries and not just the um, the country name itself. So let's modify this a little bit more. So let's go back to the measure here and I just want to delete the uh, result here and I will cut this and I'll create an if statement. So in our if statement we want to say uh, if there is just one value we want you to sum the sales um, that you have currently. If not, show me not available. So we know that for the true, we want to do a sum of sales. And if it's false, we want to show an A, exactly like we did before. Now, the only incorrect bit here is this formula because we need to make sure that we're checking this one um, if it's either um, empty or if it has a value. So what we need to do is we need to put a not and is blank 
and then we'll paste that selected value in there. So what it's doing is it's checking if this value that uh, you've got here from the selected value is empty. If it's if it is empty, um, give me an A. Otherwise, sum the sales from the sales table. So let's have a look and see if that works. And there you have it. So you see here we have the same value, the same with our total here. And if I select multiple, you'll get an A. We'll just select Ireland. It's exactly what we needed. If you want to achieve the same result, but with a bit of a shorter code, you can use the has one value, which acts almost exactly the same as selected value. So let me show you what that is. So this is the function has one value. And it says here it returns true or false, depending if the context that you put, the column name, has been filtered down to one distinct value only. So the similarity with it is the fact that it asks for the column name. Um, but the only thing is that it returns not the column name, but either true or false. Now, in this case, because it returns a, a, a true or false value, we can use it the same way that we have uh, in an if statement. So let's uh, give it a try. Let's create now another measure, new measure. Name this one sales uh, has one value. And we'll create the if statement here. So if we're saying if the country column has one value, we want you to sum the sales from that table. Otherwise, I want you to give me an A. So if I create a card and put this here, you'll see that it will give you the exact same value as the one that we've just created um, using selected value. And that's really it for this short video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start implementing uh, this selected value and has one value DAX functions in your reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.